Welcome back to Dan's Dish. Things are getting dishy and very deep. And, and I am here with Lindsley and Lauren and Chris Judd. I gotta ask you about Michael Jackson. Ultimately, I was asked to be on tour with him. The Dangerous Tour oh and God. the History Tour. So when when we were in rehearsal, we were like, holy shit, that's Michael Jackson. Like every time he walked into the room, he, that's Michael F Jackson. But at the same time, he came fully prepared. We Michael never Jackson. saw him mess up. When we were in rehearsal in that realm, how we learn is to be exposed to our flaws. Michael would bring us into Alley Cat Studios. He would make us do the entire show. Solo. By ourselves. Uh -uh. Holy, yes. Just One no, at a time. Yeah. No. Oh and no, and like, and I'm, I'm, I kid you not. I would've we done would, it. Michael would be here Get against it. the wall. Yes. Against the mirror. And I would have to do oh my God. every single number that I was involved in. Without anyone around you. By myself. Holy shit. Every flaw. Yeah. was exposed. Yeah. Every song wow. that we would go through, Mike would be like, your hand was here, it should be here. He would just look at you so stark and so Chris, let me mint. ask you this. Do you think that was for the show or is it for you as a dancer in I his show? I think what Michael was doing to us was trying to bring out the, the creator yeah. in our own existence. I always say, based on what Michael had taught me, is that your first instinct is always the right one. Ooh, you make yes. a choice. It's so so you make, make a choice. choice and you live with it. Do not second it guess. It doesn't matter if your finger is in your nose or whatever, if you Commit decide it. to do that, Commit. you commit, commit and you hold and you hold <laughs> Yeah. I would hug you right and now if it wasn't COVID time. Yeah. Prince was the same way, like huge perfectionist. Just like Prince was the same yeah. way. Super but he was, dropping. but I relate to that because of that generation, like yeah. being trained under those kind of masters, the same thing, like bold choices and yeah. being creative and like being your best and discipline and working I, hard. Wait, to put a button on I, it, it's your guys' generation that taught us that. Like, I don't think this generation, like my generation lower, like cares so much. We're in our own worlds and stuff. What's crazy is that when Michael passed, we were asked to do the tribute to Michael for the MTV Awards mm -hmm. with Janet. First time in New York City with Michael, opening in Radio City Music Hall. Fast forward eight years to 2009 when he passed, is the first time MTV Awards came back to Radio City. And Janet was doing a tribute to Michael oh. and we did Scream. So yeah. This Is It was about to happen, Michael passed and you had all of this amazing new generation of dancers. Yeah. And so we go to Center Staging Studios and we watch this rehearsal that we were like, holy fuck ah! shit. We need to police ourselves right now. <laughs> oh, we need to yes. revert back to exposing our flaws yes. and do this shit one at a time. Yes. And have this oh, friendly wow. competition. So, we would do two on two and do teams to make sure that when we stepped on stage, we were at our complete and utter best. See, TikTok doesn't oh, know about this. You guys. So yeah. That TikTok calls. doesn't know this type of work exactly. ethic. Like, it yeah. just doesn't. Well, to learning from the greats and yes. passing it on to the next generation. Yeah. Everybody, congratulations. Thank you for being here. Toast to Dance Dish yes, and dance for dish. dishing it. Thank you. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Dad's dish. Dad's dish. Dad's dish. Dad's dish. Dad's dish. Five, six, seven, eight.